again to Adventure Story Channel videos about marine engineering. First of all, I get a lot of messages about the piping diagrams, how to find them, how proper to identify the piping and so on. So we will make more videos about that and I will tell also my last experience of some kind of modifications that have been done on the vessel, what to be careful, what to check and how to avoid any trouble. First of all, I like to share my experience that I have seen in the vessels and also I like to inform you that most of the modifications that I have seen on the vessels, it's really really bad to see that there is not any new plans that will show exactly of the modification itself. Normally, the correct procedure when we have a such pipe modification, uh, all the piping diagrams should be revised. And it's really, really bad thing to see on board the vessel to have two identical piping diagrams and there is some insertion with uh, the hand, with the engineer's hand and uh, to show how it is the piping but not by a classification improvement and really really to have a let's say a stamp there and a signature by a supervisor of this kind of modifications i have seen bunker tanks to be modified i have seen also uh, pipes to modified uh, for the cooling on board other vessels and also in the last vessel they have made a such construction here that uh, the return of the purifier was going in the same line of uh, for the filling of ultra low super fuel low settling tank there was not any kind of uh, drawing that showed that and was not approved by the classification societies only uh, that you can do you can ask the previous uh, crew members that if they have seen any kind of modifications or how they work this kind of piping system so that kind of pipe of from the return of the purifier because as you know, when we make the change over of uh, the, our fuel, we need to change over also our purifiers. And uh, let's say if we are working in uh, a fuel which sends here to heavy fuel oil settling tank, and then we need to open our ultra low sulfur fuel settling tank return okay here is not this is a dia this diagram on this diagram there is another diagram but it's similar one so what is going on the pipe let's imagine a purifier here is going here the return and falling down to the pipe in the same line here it's not separate line it's the same line that feelings uh, the settling tank so what is going on when you try to fill uh, the settling tank it falling down in the same line of the return of heavy fuel oil purifier so as we try also that when we just feeling that uh, nothing happened we do not have any back pressure and any disturbance of uh, the purifier itself it seems it and also it sounds crazy that one because the discharge of purifier it's two kilos and let's say the discharge of a transfer pump because our transfer pump as we know located down until going up to the settling tank probably it will be a, about the same or less Pro probably it must be uh, higher it must be higher to overcome the height and also the pressure of the discharge of the purifier so I don't know really how uh, they make these calculations probably there will be some calculations because if there is not any kind of um, uh, let's say higher pressure all the fuel will be go and will pass down 
to the line. Okay, there is another solution that one that have been selected. There is a non-return valve placed uh, from that valve which coming from uh, the transfer pump. But here, as you can see, this is the non-return valve here on our uh, drawing. So the fuel will go by one way and not the other way. Uh, this is not so a safe solution for the future of the vessel because one day this kind of valve can be broken. And also what I have seen, this kind of valves can not always working properly. So what also I have discovered and also the previous crew has tell me that when they like to transfer some of the fuel from these bunker tanks, let's say, and the valves here it's open, let's say we like to transfer from number one heavy fuel oil tank starboard side, okay? This is our suction valve OF035, it's open, the fuel is coming here, we open 0 25 here OF 025 the fuel is coming here we open the suction valve OF 021 and then uh, we open all the valves here here so when we like to transfer we will open these valves and the fuel will pass in here so when at the moment all these valves it's open we have seen that this pump it's turning by itself so somehow all the fuel is going here by the gravity because the pump is lower than the tank it's going by the gravity and turn the pump first time i see that kind of thing really and the other case is that the fuel from the purifier which is connected on the same line here it passing uh, back again but how it will go it will not choose the difficult way, okay? Always the liquid will choose the shorter way and the less back pressure uh, on the line. That is really, really uh, true, that thing. A liquid will never, and this thing I like you to remember, will not choose the difficult way to overcome a pressure or height. It will choose much, much a shorter way and much, much less pressure to overcome. So, a lot of problems can be determined by this kind of tip and sure you will determine a lot of problems uh, like that. You will have a better understanding of how a liquid is moving inside the piping. So, one thing is to determine this kind of modification is by asking the crew. The other thing that also uh, some person have referred here it's by looking by the flashlight slowly slowly and check all the piping i know that it's really hard and it's really really difficult to find in some engine rooms which have a small place and also a very very important thing that i have already explained it's uh, called uh, the proper design of engine room so the manufacturers must as much as possible design this kind of pipings and the system as much as possible uh, with good placement and that which we called the ergonomy or ergonomical design of engine room this is really really important we can improve and reduce also the working hours by fixing a better vessels and also uh, by fixing a better better designs it will increase a lot of things it will increase the safety of the crew involved it will reduce the working time and uh, this is the two aspects the two main aspects that costs uh, through the time to the owner because as we know a vessel which is a safe vessel which is a vessel when the work performance is high and all the problems will be solved as much quickly as possible it will not make any delays to the vessel and to the any contract that vessel have to be uh, managed this is really really important thing and in such way we must design the future kind of uh, vessels Really the improvement can be done uh, and the chances for, for improvement never stops 
it's really really a open source of uh, improvement and always this can be found and be done only by uh, the cooperation of a lot of uh, parties uh, that have involved in such operations uh, operations and in such works and really really there is a lot of things that can be improved uh, through the time uh, to have a better functionality more better improvement of uh, working environments for the staff on board more safe and more efficient that it's a good uh, describe of a good engine room and a good engine room team safe and efficient uh, first of all we have our safety but about the modifications uh, really if you like to know my opinion i am not a big fan of modifications that each modifications must be done must be approved by the classification itself and also everything must be calculated really i do not like them and whatever design must be done must be done from the manufacturer itself from the beginning and this is uh, the best way to keep a vessel in good shape so with this diagram most of the diagram of uh, fuel filling and transfer system we have finished if you have any questions about this kind of system you probably can ask and also check my previous videos about the settling tank how to manage the tanks how to storage them and how to handle the fuel as much as better to not have any surprises another thing that i have noticed there is a old system already of heating the bunker tanks uh, the piping here by the steam tracing a better analog improvement it's uh, the electrical heating it's much much better and really really efficient heating for uh, the tracing lines also it will be more easy to switch off a line it will be more quickly to cool down and more efficiently to heat up without any hammering effect and also will eliminate this kind of stream tracing leakings and valve isolating through the systems and also any kind of damage associated with that kind of uh, steam itself the water as a media it's really really difficult media because there is a lot of phases there is a solid phase the gas phase the steam phase and also the liquid phase which always have some kind of problems to done on our uh, pipings so i believe that we have covered most of uh, the questions here about how to searching the piping i know it's really really difficult and also you must really really be careful when you are going down to the through the bridges to not stack up there and also inform somebody that you are always down there and also try to avoid as much as possible to going down below the shaft area and the flywheel area when the vessel is uh, on operation be careful also where you're passing what you are doing because you never know uh, maybe there is some cables that have a bad isolation try to avoid the electrical contact with the motors itself and with the electrical cables as much as possible so even more if you are located in an old vessel and you don't know what kind of modifications can be done always try as much as possible to be uh, focus on what you are doing and really really be careful because you don't know what kind of modifications have been done and maybe you have opened one kind of valve which you believe that is non-return valve and it's a simple valve and the fuel will flow from the other side and will make a mix or something else 
double check or triple check your system, your piping system before you're doing some kind of transfers. And always check and measure the levels before and after you have start any kind of transfer. Uh, I have listened and I have uh, mostly I have listened that kind of things that happen uh, of mistakes by transferring. Sometimes there is a transfer fuel to diesel mixtures, and this is really things that should be avoided. So, dear friends, don't forget to check my previous videos. Don't forget also to join to Adventure Story Channel Academy, which will have more detailed and we will see also some 3D models uh, together and we will discuss about some details and some troubleshootings there. Thank you again and see you there. Bye bye.